Russell with Corey Macklin right alongside. How am I gonna I can't get together with Dave Brown? Oh, but boy. I'm tickled to be right here with you. My goodness, Corey, everything in the world has been happening oh. around the USWA. And let me say right here and now, the biggest announcement is we have a brand new unified world heavyweight champion. It took place in Memphis, Tennessee, and Sid Vicious is the man. And we have to start it off some highlights of the bout between the former champion, Jerry the King Lawler, and the new champ, Sid Vicious. Let's take a look at Psycho Sid. Here it is right here, Sid Vicious going after the King. Backs Lawler up, whips him into the ropes. Lawler able to stop that clothesline, but Vicious has got him here, Lance. Here comes that choke slam. The King in the air. Woo! Hammers him down. Pounds him. him up. One, two, three, and a new champion is crowned. The new one is the WWF Psycho Sid Vicious, the new unified world heavyweight champion. Hey! Here he comes. Here he comes, the brand new unified world heavyweight champion, Sid Vicious. We're going to get him over here and have an opportunity to say hello to the new unified world champion. Congratulations, Sid. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. See, Lawler, if one time these little short line stains hadn't caught up with you, because what you did, you got yourself in a position you couldn't get out, and you had your butt a little too heavy, and you couldn't come out of that hole. See, it was just, it was fate. It was fate, Lance. Because, see, this is my home, the USWA. I come in, and fate has it that Jake Roberts doesn't show up, right? He doesn't show up. But I am there. Even I want the camera right here. Look at this right here. Look at this arm. As bad as the bruise as it is, with a hole in the back of it, with the blood draining out, I took that match. Let me tell you something. The power of these people, the power of the people standing this arm and this hand get around your throat, Lawler, and you took that right up and you came down hard. And after it was over, the smoke was cleared. The man was standing and you had to look at me and you had to say, Sid, you are the man that rules the world. Sid Fisher is a new champion. Hey, Sid, before you go, we've got uh, an opponent here for you. Today. Listen, Sid was a last minute deal last night. Today they call me at the last second. Sid, can you come down? Yeah, but I forgot my wrestling tights, unfortunately, right? Okay. Unfortunate for you, but I'm still getting in. It doesn't bother me. Well, here he goes. Psycho Sid Fisher, the new unified world champion, hits the ring, Lancer. Tell you one thing, Tony Myers never dreamed that he was going to be facing the new unified world heavyweight champ. Sid chops away, puts his foot to face. Down goes Myers on the deck. He may have forgotten his tight, but he's got that tremendous body that he brought with him. Oh, man. What a specimen. What a big guy, let me tell you. Six foot eight. 297 pounds. He grabs Tony Myers, sets him up for that throttle slam, pounds him down, gets the cover. Two, and that's all she wrote. Sid Vicious, unified champion. Boy, it doesn't take him long, Lance. Man, I'm telling you, it didn't take him long. He came in determined. He is really looking good. Cut like we've never seen him before. And holding of that unified world belt. I know that's something that he is particularly proud of, having taken it off the king and is now the new champion, Sid Vicious. We've got a lot more to go today, and I gotta tell you, it is gonna be a heck of a show. We're oh, gonna yeah. be seeing Brian Christopher, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. We've got a TV title match with Wolfie D against Jamie Dundee. Oh, boy, we'll be put in a moment.
The USWA returns to the big one this Monday with a Labor Day special. It's going to be a big night. All students in the general admission for only $3. Nine big matches, plus meet the USWA superstars in the food court at 6 p.m. And then the opening match, Flash Flanagan versus Tony Ball. Brickhouse Brown versus Coco Beware. The Colorado Kid defends the North American title against Bart Sawyer. Then a USWA tag title match featuring the Moondogs defending against the Punisher and Vampire Warrior. And then Miss Texas goes after Luna Vachon at a special challenge match. New sexy Brian Christopher defends the USWA title against me, Mike Temple. Then it's payback time. Tommy Wildfire Rich has to face dangerous Doug Gilbert with the ring surrounded by barbed wire. Then an explosive tag match. Balls count anywhere in the building. Building Jamie Dundee. Spell it out with Wolfie D and Jesse James Armstrong. Then the main event. WWF Psycho Sid Vicious defends the unified world title against Jerry the King Lawler. Nine big matches. Students in for only $3. Meet the stars at 6 p.m. in the food court. Don't miss it. Monday at the big one. Lance Russell and Corey Macklin right here with the USWA Championship Wrestling. Dave away for the day, and he'll be back here with us next week, and we're ready to go. What excitement. We started off with a new unified world heavyweight champion. We saw him in action not very long in this oh, yeah. game, but we're getting ready right now to see JT Atlas, who will be going against that too sexy man, Brian Christopher. USWA heavyweight champion. There he is. Fans around the USWA love him. What excitement he brings. When he hits the area, too sexy Brian Christopher. USWA heavyweight champion. Boy, he's in line as uh, the USWA heavyweight champion. Receive a shot at that unified title, Lance. That puts him right in line for an opportunity at that belt. Puts the belt aside because this is a non-title bout today. And coming out right now, Mike Sample. Oh, boy. Well, come on, Corey Michael. What is all this? I stand back here. I listen. I listen to the great Lance Russell talk about all these champions down here, how good everybody is, how Sid Vicious, all these guys. Brian Christopher, come on, look at the outfit Brian Christopher's wearing. That's homemade. That's somebody up in Jackson, Tennessee or something makes that. He's not a champion. He's just a young kid trying to learn how to wrestle. Here is championship material. You didn't even mention me, did you, Lance Russell? Well, I didn't get around to it going so fast today, Mike. But listen, you're talking about a guy that's got the belt around his waist. He isn't just playing in there. He is the champion. Uh -huh. I'm talking about no class, just like the rest of these people and like the people that are out there watching the USWA. No class. You understand, Mike Samples was here before, and I know you know that, and I've been gone for about three years, and during that time, I traveled the world. I've not only learned the psychology of professional wrestling, I became absolutely the world's finest technical wrestler, and I can prove it. If that punk right there had the gut, I would take him to school, and I would take his little belt, and I would be the champion, and you'd have to treat me with respect like you're going to do before it's all over, Lance Russell. What did you think of that full Nelson takedown right face first? Huh? I think Brian Christopher is the luckiest punk I ever saw in homemade wrestling tights, because this guy here is probably sound asleep, and Brian Christopher tripped and fell and took him down. These guys don't have the class that I do. I could, look at you. You're dressed in a homemade suit, too. I have my clothes tailor-made. Oh, people, my. I, yeah, Corey Macklin, look at you. I saw you at Kmart when I drove by last night. Look, let me tell you, and I'm only going to say this once, Mike Samples is the best thing that ever came to USWA, and I am going to take Brian Christopher and any of these other punks, homemade wrestling guys, and teach them that I really can back up what I say. And I'm going to prove that to you. Okay, well, we are certainly going to be around to it, and I hope maybe that you're a man of your word and that you're only going to say it once, and that was it. Brian Christopher in the ring with J.T. Atlas takes him back into the ropes as he has Atlas there. Atlas, a new face here on USWA. Yeah. Maybe he has some ideas about taking charge over Brian Christopher. I don't really like your attitude. You should treat me with some respect, Lance Russell. I'm a high-class person. I come down to this measly USWA territory, and I give class because I am class, and you're not treating me that way, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you class. If Brian Christopher ever, and I mean ever, grows up enough to have enough courage to step in the ring with me, buddy boy, I will take him to school, and he will flunk out. And I'm, I'm going to leave because I don't want to be out here with low class like you and Corey. We'll all vote for that. Yeah, right thank there. you.
Bride Christopher. Class casts an eye over here to look at Mike Samples as he leads, and he is going about business as usual. That is, taking care of business. Oh, yeah. Big Bulldog on J.T. Atlas III. Whoops him into the corner. Too sexy Brian Christopher. Oh! He misses, and boy, Atlas celebrating there. And then, now look at J.T. Atlas on the top rope. Ooh. Comes off with that somersault. Misses the flip. And Christopher on his feet. J.T. Atlas the third trying to get up. Gets up and he's right back down as Christopher punches him with that super kick. And there he is, Lance, the USWA heavyweight champion. Up the ladder to the top rope. Two Gets the cover. Two. Three. It's oh, yeah. Three. Too sexy, Brian Christopher. Take care of J.T. Atlas the third. I thought Brian made a mistake when he missed him in the corner when he went running in there after him, but able to bounce back and get the win. He did, in fact, get a very, very good win as he uh, took the measure of J.T. Atlas in his debut here on USWA. Christopher, we've talked about what an intense wrestler he is, but he has fun with it, and he gets in there and gets the job. All right, we are going to be ready to take a break here, and we're going to... Oh, everybody walks out and just takes over whenever they... Break, everybody. You know what? Last week I called for a tape, and nobody will give me a tape. I want you to play the tape right now and show everybody what kind of low life Wolfie D is, man. He's a woman beating low life. He's a no good punk, and I want to see the tape right now. I, I heard you had something I like that. I want to play the tape right Show them what they did to poor Samantha, a defenseless woman, man. Watch, watch this. Watch this right here. Watch this. And Randy Hell's able to make the tag. I don't see how they can justify the this. I don't see this at all. Look at this, man. Look at O.J. Simpson sitting somewhere awful proud about this right now. A woman beater, man. Women beaters all stink together. Look at that, man. How can you? Look. What are you people? How can you justify that? That is terrible, man. I cannot get over that. How you people can say that a woman beater is so wonderful. And now what else I want to do is I want to call out a dear friend of mine. I want to call out Mr. Jesse James Armstrong. I would appreciate you come out here for a minute, please. What is I, this all about? Well, I know that me and Jesse James were tight, man. We hung cool before we went out to Germany and stuff. And he knows what kind of loser Wolfie D is. And I saw the card, and it said that him and Wolfie are partners. And I just got to talk to him right now, because that, that's not right. That ain't going to happen, and we're not putting up with that. Well, that's exactly what's uh, scheduled. Here he is, Jesse James Armstrong. He is, in fact, back from a long tour. Germany and... Yeah, he's been on a big worldwide tour, man. I know you did good over Jess. What's going on, bro? How you been, man? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Jesse. How you doing, Lance? It's good to be back. What, yes, some, yes some, something's not really right, bro. Me and you, was, we hung tight, man. We up and down the road, cruising the big green machine, man. You know, I hauled y'all around everywhere. And, you know, I see that you're Whoopi <laughs> D's partner, man. And that just, you know, it's me and my dad, man. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to jump in me and Joe's deal. It's cool, man. You know, we cool. We tight. Me and you's cool. We straight, right? You're right. Me and you straight, we man. Cool, man. He's straight. right, Lance Russell, and all you people know it. We've been up and down the road together, and that's no, that's, I got no qualms with that. I got no qualms with that or with you, but I do have qualms with your silly old man. You remember, no, 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 no. Now, you remember, you remember in Louisville, Kentucky, he came in and sprayed the boy, hit Wolfie D in the head with a fire yeah, He hit me, no, he hit me in the head with a chair not long after. And let me mean, tell you something, mean, I got no beef with you, brother, but I'll be in the ring with Wolfie, and I'll be standing right across from you and your daddy. I got no beef with you, but I'm smacking your daddy down. I got no beef with you. Uh, you, you okay, well, let me tell you, you now you got some beef with me, man. If you can't say, if you think that you're going to sit out here and talk about my dad, and I'm gonna let you where you got some beef for me now, punk. Yeah, see, you got some beef for me now, boy. Now, let's go. I don't see how you can justify it. I done told you. I really don't care what you say, Armstrong. Now, I don't know where you stole the money, Wolfie D, but you had to pay a lot of money to Psycho Sid Vicious yeah. to get him to do what he did to Tony Fultz. Now, press the other button and watch what happened to Tony. Well, 
if we've got yeah there it is now take a look here we go look at this now now watch look at this monster look at this now look at this the guy's nuts the guy's nuts look at that poor tony minding his own business not doing now look at this he damn near knocked me right into the street now look at tony not doing a thing nothing yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, choke look, slam. Look at this, this 300 pounds. That ought to be outlawed and illegal, man. It's, you know, you can kill a man. That's just right. ain't right. It ain't right now. Now watch. I know Wolfie D paid him to do it. He's got no beef against it. Now look at this. Look at that, man. That ain't right. That is not believable. What do you mean it's popping there, man? Oh. I now. did. Get a one, two, three, and he just got it, Bill. Yeah, but he didn't have to press slam him like that. I mean, that's a dangerous hole. Not only that. The map. Don't don't go away. I'm going to show you the picture's worth a thousand words. Stay right. What is this all about? You guys, we still got plenty of action to go. We've yeah, got we a got TV title yeah, match. Yeah, we do. We got to be I'm not even challenging concerned about Wolfie. that. I'm not even concerned. You know, the, the, this Wolfie D, man, he is piled around poor Sam. Man. Now look at, I tell you, now look at Tony Fox. Look at this. Look at Tony. Are you okay? Sam's neck is bad. Look, Tony, this is not right, man. Oh Whoopi D my is calling God. this. This is not right what Whoopi D is doing around here, man. Now, Wolfie D did all this. And I know you don't have to believe me. And you don't have to believe Jamie Dundee. But right. we're from Nashville. He's from Nashville, right? Yep. Okay. If I bring a lady out here that's known Wolfie D all her life, will you believe it? Don't go away. I have to. Uh, well, what is this, Bill? You come up with all this stuff. You Wait a minute, let's no. We're gonna no, prove. We're there. gonna prove that Whoopi D is a low-life, woman-beaten scum of the earth, man. Him and OJ need to hook up and make a new team or so. Look at this. Look at this listen, poor listen, little damn What? Right now here. listen. Okay. Bill, be careful out so, here. Talk to the lady. Don't ask me. Talk to this lady. Well, why'd you bring her out okay. here? I do not know this lady. Okay, you just ask her what kind of a person Whoopi D is. Just ask her. Now, you've already, you're, on, you're the one that brought it up. Okay. Tell Lance Russell and the whole world what you need. Don't, don't, don't It's all right, baby. Don't Come on. I'm don't nervous play. about being I here. I can understand I've that. I've got to tell you about the real Kelly. He... Now, be careful, no, my I'm dear. Just no, don't. just just let her talk. We go way back. We were high school sweethearts. And in the beginning, everything was perfect. He even gave me a ring. And right after he gave me that ring, everything changed. His true colors came out. He started slapping me and pushing me, and then after that, he started using a closed fist. I wound up in the emergency room so many times I can't remember. So, yeah. if you ask me, he's a woman beater. He's not a man. Hey, come on now, these are serious charges out here, Bill. The woman is scared to death, you Lance. Well, she's scared to death. She's afraid what Wolfie D will do to her. We had to convince her that we would protect her. I've heard all of this. No, I don't want to hear any more of it, Bill. We're going to take a break, oh, yeah. and we're going to. Wolfie D, you're a woman beater. You're a woman beater. You're going to pay for it. Here we go, back here on USWA action. Yeah, and, we've uh, got a uh, big TV title match coming up here in just a moment. I want to get Wolfie over here. Yeah, talk to Wolfie, I'd that stuff. Wolfie will be defending his TV title, but after what happened out here, I want to get him over here. Wolfie, I want to tell you, had knew nothing about this, that Dundee brought that girl out here. I'm not getting in the middle of it. It had no place on it, but he went and did it. We want to get to your comments. Some serious charges made about Wolfie D. You know, not many times have I come out here and really not known what to say. I sat back there and I listened to all this stuff and I was really in just disbelief, Lance. I got friends, I got family, I got a lot of people that turn on this television show every week to watch me. And when somebody comes out, you know, all these people too, they know it. And when you got, I got an 80-something-year-old grandmother sitting at home that watches this. And you know, when she turns this on and Jamie Dundee comes out here and brings some woman who I've never seen in my life, I just want to go ahead and clear that up. Obviously, you do not know her. a high school sweetheart, I think everybody knows about my age, and if you look at that woman, I would have had to have failed high school quite a few times. But what I want to say about these Dundees is they are the lowest, stinking, dirtiest, yeah. Anybody that will come up here and make up that kind of dirt about somebody, you are nothing but scum of the earth. Because like I said, I've never seen that woman in my life, and let me tell you something else. I was raised right, and let me tell you something. Any lady that's ever been with Wolfie D knows that I know how to treat a lady. 
Like I said, one more time, I've never seen that lady in my life. And right here in just a second, Jamie Dundee, you're fixing to climb up in this ring with me. And I'm fixing to make you read these Nikes because I am sick and I am tired of the Dundees. And right here, right now, Jamie Dundee, you're fixing to get some. Well, there uh, is the comments right out of Wolfie D's mouth. He, he is not a high school sweetheart of that lady that Bill Dundee brought out here and does not know her, and we wanted to give him an opportunity. What? Yeah, I'm what listening now, to you. Jamie? I'm around with Wolfie D. Wolfie D beat his 88-year-old grandma up. He slapped his mama before. I've been at the house. Whoa! He just got through slapping Jamie Dundee, oh, too. I'm sick of this Jamie Dundee coming out here saying he beat his 80-something-year-old grandmother up, and that was all for Wolfie. He took it to him right here. We don't approve of a lot of the things that happened like that, but I can tell you I know exactly why he is that irritated after the comments that have been made, Corey. Oh, definitely. Look at Whoopie. Pounds him down. And the USWA television champion is ready to go. Boy, he wants some of Jamie Dundee. Title is on the line. Jamie Dundee, the challenger. Whoa. Intelligent Whoopie D right here today. What a match. Look out, Lance. Here they come. Jamie Dundee crawling out of the way as Wolfie D pursues him right back to the desk, hammers him with a right hand, and Dundee Boy. challenging for the TV title today, really taking some shots from Wolfie. Jamie! Boy, he's crawling and running away from Wolfie D. He's trying his best to find himself a loophole to get out of this thing, but it may be a little too late for Jamie Dundee as he finds himself in trouble with Wolfie. Look at Jamie just crawling out of the area, trying to get out. Oh, Wolfie just shoves the referee. Here's Dundee. Oh, boy. Phil Dundee dashed in from the from exit the and over nailed there. Wolfie with a boot right in the back of the head. Wolfie down on the floor. Jamie, an opportunist, grabs a hold of him, runs him in, and posts him right up against it. And Jamie Dundee now taking over in this bout as Bill Dundee comes out, nails Wolfie with that cowboy boot. Jamie Dundee whips him in. Elbow takes Wolfie D down to cover one, two, and Wolfie up. Boy, what a battle between these two. He can wrestle, there's no doubt about it. Both of these guys, two of the most exciting guys in a tag team that we have ever seen anywhere, anytime. And Jamie Dundee got the advantage. And that's one, two. Remember, almost overlooked in the personal heat of the battle here is the fact that this TV title is on the line. Wolfie, the champion, putting it up against his former partner, Jamie Dundee. And Jamie now has almost total control in the match, resulting from that blow to the head by his dad, Phil Dundee. Jamie runs in and misses that time, Lance. And Wolfie D nails him with a couple of left hands. Followed by a big right hand from Wolfie D. And Wolfie backs up Jamie into the rope. Wolfie D comes out. Bulldogs him down. And the television champion lands. He's climbing up there. Up on the top rope. To the top, Wolfie D. Wade with a drop kick. Look at this, Lance Russell. Look where he punched her in the face. Hey, Wolfie D., you coward. You hit her right in the face. Outside right. in that hall. Yes, you did. Hell, that's right no there. Look at that. Yes. That's right. makeup. Right. It ain't right. makeup. He punched it. You're a woman beater, boy. That is, look at her face. And he did it. Bill Dundee comes out. No, he never did. He just knocked him out. Count of one, two, three. He hit, with, he hit him with the chain, yeah. Jamie Dundee had the chain wrapped around his fist. 
Nails Wolfie D, and we've got a new television champion. These Dundies. Don't come out pulling that stuff anymore, Bill. You bring a girl out, obviously oh, made up. Yeah, I know. That's ridiculous, Bill. Absolutely ridiculous. Then that Whoopi comes out and blasts him with a. Hey. Oh, boy. He knocked it out with his right hand. Yeah, right. Yeah. With, a, with, a chain around, wrapped with a chain wrapped around his head. All he can do is whip women. That's all he can do. He pull drives down. Don't strike. Right off Sid Vicious. Oh, man. In any event, the hand was raised, and downtown Bruno, the referee, declaring a new TV champion. The referee downtown Bruno is asking Jamie about that chain now. The people over on the side that were closer to it than we were here were telling the referee that hey, he... Hey, 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 come on. There they go in the ring. Oh, there's a neat two-on-one pair. Bill and Jamie Dundee. After he beat him with a chain, and I don't care what he says, we saw it right here. Here comes Jesse James Armstrong, nails Jamie, and this is the one he's after. Going after Bill Dundee as Wolfie picks up the hubcap, and Jamie is out of here. There goes Dundee right behind him. And while he lost the belt, he got a little dignity. We're going to take time out, and we'll be back in just a moment. Gave us a chance to catch our breath, and we needed one Quick after the pace of USWA today. Some kind of exciting Lance Russell, Corey Macklin, Dave Brown away this particular day. We'll be back next week. Mm -hmm. Corey, Labor Day. And ah. boy, what a biggie. Listen to this. We're talking about back on Monday night, a Labor Day beginning of uh, school, end of summer. It's all happening Monday night at the big one. And not only that, but a special night for all students. Listen to this. All students will be admitted to the Big One Expo Center Monday night. Only three, one, two, three dollars. What a deal that is. Hey, tell $3 me a deal. Admission. Yeah. Three dollars for uh, the big night coming up Monday night. And here's a neat thing too. Uh, one of it's all it's neat every week. I don't care whether it's Labor Day or not. But they've got a food court out at the big one oh, there, yeah. and it's all great kind food, of dude. great chow out there that you can <laughs> participate in. And starting at six o'clock, the stars of the USWA are going to be uh, milling around the food court, and mm -hmm. you'll have a chance to talk to them and get some autographs and that sort of thing. That's coming up Monday night out the. Big one. How's it get underway, Corey? Looking forward to it. Opening bout. Flat Flanagan takes on Tony Falk in our opening bout down there Monday night. Colorado Kid will follow that one up as he'll be going against Bart Sawyer. Should be a dandy. Then comes a big bout here, Lancer. No disqualification. No stop in the match. These two had a heck of a bout last night at the big one. Well, coming up Monday night, it's going to be the Birdman. Coco Beware. Brickhouse Brown. They'll tangle up again. Monday night. And then there will be a USWA tag oh, title match God. where the champions, the Moon Dogs, will be rough and tough as usual. But what kind of competition? I mean, big. We're talking about the Punisher being joined by the Vampire Warrior. Oh, it's been a long time since we've seen that Vampire Warrior. He'll be there Monday night. Speaking of long time, Luna Bashan returns. To the USWA, boy, you talk about crazy. <laughs> this girl is Crazy something. lady, oh, I remember man. her watching her in the WWF. Oh. She is totally out of it, and it's going to be a real test for Miss Texas as they go in that ladies' match. Then a USWA title match when Brian Christopher will be defending his title against Big Mike Samples. We heard from Mike a little bit earlier. Then a grudge. Barbed wire match, ring and closed in barbed wire. Wildfire Tommy Rich versus his former partner, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. An explosive match, and you wrestling fans from long back 
know that that means falls count anywhere. In the ring, out of the ring, all over the place. It'll be Bill and Jamie Dundee going against Wolfie D and Jesse James Armstrong. At all, the main event of the night coming up Monday night is the Unified World title bout. The new Unified World Heavyweight Champion, Psycho Sid Vicious, defends his belt against the King, Jerry Lawler. Corey, gotta add this right at this point. In order to get an immediate rematch, Jerry Lawler did something I really thought that he would never do, and that is he agreed to put up, I think he agreed, he is yeah. putting up his hair and the hair of Scott Bowden, and Sid Vicious is the guy who can have a little barbering done out oh, there. Oh, yeah, you got that right. And here they come, the King Jerry Lawler and Scott Bowden. That's exactly right. And I got to tell you, Lance Russell. Oh, know. shut up, Macklin, I know that. You know, Lance Russell, you know your reputation as the biggest drunk in Memphis is safe because Jake Roberts didn't make it to town. He got all liquored up and You're couldn't make sweetheart. it. We trained for Jake Roberts. We watched film of Jake Roberts. My pre-match strategy, Jake Roberts. And the promotion to the last minute little swerve, and they put the king in there with Sid Vicious. Two totally different styles of wrestling. We were not prepared. We got railroaded. Let me just say this. First of all, we try to figure out what happened to Jake Roberts. We find out he was somewhere in the Atlanta airport having an argument with himself. I just wondered, is he arguing over whether he should come and face the king or not? No, that wasn't it. I found out he was arguing with himself over whether his last meal tasted great or was less filling. Now, let me tell you something. This is not right. Jake the Snake Roberts, the town drunk of New York City, that's right, the town drunk of New York City was afraid to show up. So what he did, he started to get himself some of that liquid courage and he got a little too liquored up. He couldn't get on the flight down in Atlanta, Georgia, so he no-showed. So what do they do? They run in Big Sid Vicious on the king. Oh yeah, that's your fault. And Vicious is the new Unified World Champion. Well, what do you expect? What do you expect, Roy Macklin? Did you hear what Scott Bowden said? Yeah, I heard what he hey, said. I was expecting to wrestle Jake the Snake. You know, I could beat Jake the Snake with my eyes closed. And that little earth, I wish he had brought that little earthworm of his, because I was going to take it, and I was going to pull it, and I was going to stretch it till it popped. Shut up! We love him! We love him! We love him! So let me just say this. If I had known that I was going to wrestle Sid Vicious, don't think I'm afraid of Sid Vicious. Don't think I can't beat Sid Vicious, but it would have took just a little more training. I would have gone and I would have worked out a little more. I would have done, look at me. Hey, look at his body. Look at his physique. I'm just a couple of sit-ups away from being in a hot tub with Cindy Crawford. You know that. But I would have trained a little harder. That's right. Now let me tell you what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to head straight to the queue. Uh, here he is. Yeah, come here. I'm not afraid to face Sid Vicious face to face. You can tell him what you're going to do Monday night in the Unified World title bout. Here is Sid Vicious. Now, the only way you would give me a return match is you, have, I, you demanded that I have to put my hair at stake and Scott Bowden's got to put his hair at stake. But I'm going to tell you something. The reason we did that, Sid, is because I'm not afraid. I'm going straight to the queue. I'm going to start doing my sit-ups. I'm going to start doing push-ups. And by the time Monday night rolls around, I'm going to be a lean, mean, fighting machine. But look at that. Look. Look at that right there, baby. Huh? Take a look at that, Sid. Look at that, baby. And when I get my hands on you Monday night, I'm going to take that belt back one way or the other. First of all, let's get everything straight. The only gym you've seen and was this morning was a big sausage patty called Jimmy Dean Sausage. Yeah, what you did last night was a mistake. And what you're doing Monday night is a bigger mistake. Because I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to guarantee it to all these people right here, right now, and all these people at home. Listen to me. Listen to me good. For Monday night, I guarantee one thing. You, my friend, will be getting a haircut. Whoa. Hair 
guys on the line. Get that haircut while we're never talking the USWA wrestling ever, ever again. Whoa, there's a word from Sid Vicious, the new world champion, Lauren Bum Hair. On the line this coming Monday. Nobody cuts the hair of the king. Do you understand that? Take a look at Sid Bishop because I promise you, you have seen him for the last time in the USWA. I got rid of Flex Cavana last week. I'll get rid of Sid Bishop this week. We'll see Monday night, Big One Expo Center. Laura and Bounce hair on the line. Boy, uh, I'm just trying to picture what both of those guys are going to look like. Ball, or we better take time out. We got more action coming up just more. Ooh, I'm still thinking about those two bald heads in there. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, uh, one of the big matches that's coming up uh, Monday night, the Labor Day special at the big one, is going to be a barbed wire match. Um, I look at that, it is always kind of an adrenaline starter as uh, that barbed wire is something mean. Wildfire Tommy Rich will First be involved. Off, Lance, I want to clarify one thing. I don't make this big old fat ugly bag over here holler for me, okay? Yeah, all right, Tommy. You, Miss know, you know, the only three things in life that make it worth living is the money, the women, and the gold. Well, it seems like ain't none of these boys around here got the guts to put the gold on the line. But that's another story in itself. What I'm here to talk about is Labor Day. It's the happiest day of my life. You know, Christmas, you gotta kiss babies and buy the kids toys and you gotta do that. That's what I think about yeah, Christmas. Through. Easter, that's another one to go down the drain. But Labor Day, now that's party time. And that's what wildfire's all about. It's a big party. And Monday night, right out there, it's that big expo building. Let me tell you something, a barbed wire match, Lance, I'm sure in your day, you're older and dirt anyway, so I'm sure you've seen a few of them matches, have you? I've seen a few. Uh, quite a few in your day, had not you? Yes, sir, I have. So you know what it means when they got them little edges of barbed wire mm. sticking out and you run a man's head down, it'll rip it open. Yep. So it's going to be a real big party Monday night for myself. Doug Gilbert, it's not going to be such a good day for you it's going to be an unhappy party. But for the wildfire, Labor Day is party time. Okay, well, we've got action in the ring for wildfire I Tommy. I going to have a party right now, it looks like. Go to it, Tommy. Okay, Corey, we are just ready for our next bout here on today's show. T.D. Steele going in there to face wildfire Tommy Rich as downtown Bruno giving the instructions. We'll find out how much good that's going to do. T.D. Steele warming up there, trying to get going for this bout against Tommy Wildfire Rich. The referee downtown Bruno is uh, once again <laughs> going over the rules with Tommy Rich. Boy, you got to keep pounding and pounding those rules in Rich's head, and uh, just maybe he'll abide by some of them. T.D. Well, Steele. It's not so much he expects him to abide by it, but he just wants him to know which ones he's breaking when he gets in there, because he's going to break them. You can bet on that. <laughs> there he is, Wildfire Tommy Rich. Still to go today. We've got plenty of action on the USWA. See Jesse James Armstrong in action. Still to come. Well, we got a new USWA television champion here today, Lance. Son of a gun, we do it in fact at Jamie Dundee with the uh, help of Father Bill and oh, yeah. a chain ended up winning the TV title from Wolfie D. Uh, we also had a change in the unified world title. Sid Vicious is the man that comes up with the title, and Big Sid has got that one safely around his waist. Tommy, T.D. Steele, tie it up, collar and elbow. T.D. goes low, drives him back into the turnbuckles. Downtown Bruno was trying to pry his way in between, and Rich ripped him with a right. Sure did, and look at Rich now setting up. T.D. 
still and takes him down. Took him on that belly to back, and I mean hammered his head first when he hit that mat. Turn out the lights, Tommy says. Top son of a gun. He is, boy, he can really go. Wildfire Tommy Rich. Going up to TD still, back still up. Reversal, look at that, TD whips him in. Wow. Rich comes off of that DDT, man. He found it, still head into that man. What a good He move. won't get up from that, boy, I guarantee you. Give credit where it's due, and Wildfire Tommy Rich, we have always maintained, this guy is such a fine wrestler. One of the youngest world champs ever, some years ago. But you never know when he wants to wrestle, as he did today, or when he's going to get in there and break in half with some of the shenanigans. Now, this is not necessary. Yeah. Totally uncalled for. Tell you what He's we'll do. We're going to take time out, and we're going to be back here in just one minute. The USWA returns to the big one this Monday with a Labor Day special. It's going to be a big night. All students in the general admission for only $3. Nine big matches, plus meet the USWA superstars in the food court at 6 p.m. And then the opening match, Flash Flanagan versus Tony Falls. Brickhouse Brown versus Coco Beware. The Colorado Kid defends the North American title against Bart Sawyer. Then a USWA tag title match featuring the Moondogs defending against the Punisher and Vampire Warrior. And then Miss Texas goes out after Luna Vachon at a special challenge match. New sexy Brian Christopher defends the USWA title against me, Mike Temple. Then it's payback time. Tommy Wildfire Rich has to face dangerous Doug Gilbert with the ring surrounded by barbed wire. Then an explosive tag match. Balls count anywhere in the building. Building Jamie Dundee. Spell it out with Wolfie D and Jesse James Armstrong. Then the main event. WWF psycho Sid Vicious defends the unified world title against Jerry the King Lawler. Nine big matches. Students in for only $3. Meet the stars at 6 p.m. in the food court. Don't miss it. Monday at the big one. All right. Hey, big night coming up. Monday night, Big One Expo Center. Don't forget that $3 general admission price set for Monday uh, night. That was food court yeah. that we're talking about food meeting court. the guys <laughs> at 6 p.m. Hey, listen, Big One is not the only place the action is. It's a lot of action, and I love that $3 student price. Oh, yeah. It's going in there for all of them, and you want to be out there nine big matches for it. But that's not all. It's USWA on the road. Mm, it begins this afternoon, 2 o'clock, Batesville, Mississippi. Panko Superstore right there in Batesville. It's a uh, big customer appreciation day out there today. They're going to have live wrestling right there on the parking lot, on the lot there at Batesville, Mississippi. Panko Superstore, Jerry Lawler on the card. See sexy Brian Christopher, the Dundees, they're going to be out there. Miss Texas Moondogs, all in Batesville, Mississippi, this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Looking did, forward to that. Did I understand that it is free? All they ought to do is walk up there and watch this car? That's yeah. right, absolutely free. Can you imagine getting That's to see the king for absolutely free? That's not right, but I want to tell all of you idiots down in Batesville, Mississippi something. Don't come there trying to get autographs. Don't come there trying to get me to smile because I got my work cut out for me. I got to beat Sid Vicious Monday night, and I'm going to use Brian Christopher for a little warm-up right down there in baseball in just a couple hours from now. Coming up, 2 o'clock, Panko Superstore, Batesville, Mississippi. He's on his way to the queue, he says. Better be on there at 2 o'clock bell time. Absolutely free. You're right, Lance. They're free this afternoon. 2 o'clock, Panko Superstore in Batesville, Mississippi. Hey, Monday, Monday night. Monday, September the 2nd, right here in Memphis. The Big One Expo Center. It's out on 240 on the north side. Exit 5, down the ramp. Boom, you're right there at the Big One. And what a night with nine matches, all students. Three bucks. Big main event is going to be a unified title with Hair of Lawler and Scott Bowden at stage. Then Wednesday night, we'll truck down to Lady Luck Casino. Casino Pavilion, right there at the pavilion there at the Lady Luck. All the miners are welcome. We have a big night right down at the Lady Luck. Looking forward to it once again. 8 o'clock is bell time. The King, Jerry Lawler, Too Sexy, Brian Christopher, the Dundees, Miss Texas. Also, Dangerous Duck Gilbert, Tommy Rich, Luna Vachon, Vampire Warrior, Wolfie D. Big night coming up 
this Wednesday night, Wednesday at the Pavilion at the Lady Love. Sound like it's a long way away, but September the 6th, it's just next week, my friend, Sportatorium, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 8 p.m. the time. Good place to get and hang out and watch the action. Thursday, September 12th, Manila, Arkansas. Hey. USWA Thrills in Manila. And Saturday, September the 14th, Dyer, Tennessee. Also, Saturday, September the 14th, in Truman, Arkansas. Hey, Ray Enzi, Ray Enzi, Mississippi coming up. Entertainment Center right there, right, Ray Enzi. It's Friday night, September the 20th, USWA Championship Wrestling, right there at the Entertainment Center. That's Action on Tour. Nothing in the world like being right there, seeing it live. You it got it. There. We love for them to be right here, uh -huh. but we like for them to go out and enjoy the super thing of being right there, live and in person, whenever it comes near you. I'm going to yeah. stand up very closely. Slowly I turn. I think I just unplugged my IFB. That doesn't mean a thing to you, but it does to me. I do, in fact, want to tell you that uh, we've still got plenty of action yet to go, and we're going to be looking forward to that getting underway in just one moment. As, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's time for us to take a break. I thought that uh, we were getting ready for an interview, but what we'll do is take a break, and we'll be back with more action coming up in just a moment. Ah! 